There's the first round. Gimby has a lot of experience. You guys have all seen what his knee can do. Artyom needs to stay away from that knee. He's definitely going to try and get that knee uh, up and into his chin, especially around the rope area. He's been doing it all night. He does it in most of his fights. It's his biggest weapon. It's a great asset. But mind you, he also has his own, let's say, weakness. He loves to put his head down. He's been knocked out himself with that knee numerous times. He comes in with that head down. Uh, Chris Nagimi I'm talking about, and it has led to some disastrous results in his career. Just missing that overhead hook, right over the head of Artyom. Artyom trying to get that knee in there, blocked by Nagimbi. He has a pretty good defense. Nothing really landing by either of these fighters in the first round. Most of these punches and kicks being blocked. That was a good left to the side of McGimby. Ten seconds left here almost in the first round. Nagimbi normally tries to get inside. He hasn't tried to get inside at all in the first round. A nice left by Nagimbi landed. Right on the face, the side of the face of Artyom. Just missed that right hand. Nagimbi likes to get inside. I'm, I'm going to give that one just purely a draw to either fighter. I don't think anybody won that round. is a three round, three minute per round, plus potential extra round if needed. We haven't seen the extra round all night. Get ready for the second round here. Nice right by Nagimbi. I tell him definitely needs to keep Nagimbi at distance. Nice little body shots by Artyom. Uses that straight leg kick to push Nagimbi away as he's in the corner. Nagimbi not really being able to find a rhythm right now. He's not really landing his punches. We'll see what happens throughout this round.
Artyom definitely coming inside, getting more aggressive. He's not landing those punches. They're all being blocked, but still, he's trying to get inside. He wants to get some punches in. The Gimme seems to just have curled up into a ball to, to block everything. Nice left hook by Nagimbi. Nice left jab. He tried to come with that knee. There's that knee. He loves to come flying in with that knee. If he lands it, it's lights out. He's been worn now. Stop holding. Nice left by Artyom. Lay kick by Nagimbi. Nice left, right. Good left jab by Nagimbi. I'm surprised we haven't seen that knee by Nagimbi more often in this fight, to be quite honest. And he has only used it once in the two rounds. He should go to it. He knows it's his weapon. I'm going to give that round to Nagimbi. Well, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. It's what we've been waiting for. It's the third and final round of the W5 Champion Grand Prix Vienna Winner's Energy. We have Chris Gimby against Artyom Spur Pashporin. It's the third and final round. Unless we go into an extra round. This is for the world title, W5 and 71 kilograms. I think Nagimbi is going to need a, uh, if you want, if, either one of these, I think, to assure a victory is going to at least really need a knockdown or to absolutely dominate, dominate this third and final round. It's up in the air. And I think both of these feel they're both throwing more punches. Artyom dominating a little bit more. He's throwing more. He's more aggressive. And again, he's also getting in there. But there's that, well, almost a knee. He's got to get that knee up. He's got to find a way to use that knee in this round. He hasn't really had a chance to even land a punch to stun Artyom. Artyom's done a good job of, of keeping his distance. Nice left jab followed by a right hook. Another right hook. Minute and a half left here in the third and final round.
I really think somebody needs to knock down, although I think Artyoma's done a better job. That was a bit of a sneaky knee tried to put in there. I think he's done a more aggressive job in the first and third round, and definitely in the third round. He's landed more punches. If this is going to be the deciding round, in my opinion, Nagimi's been a little bit more defensive. I don't know why he hasn't gone to that knee. He really needs to get that knee. He knows that it is his weapon. He's not using it. He's taking a lot more punches than he's throwing it. We got 30 seconds left. Neither of these uh, boxers have really been stunned at this point in this fight. Not these fighters, sorry. I've been stunned. Ten seconds left. I think RTOM dominated the third round. It looked like a stronger fighter in the third round. I think the first round and the second round. I think the second round definitely went to Nagimbi. The first round could have went up anywhere. But I'm going to have to say that uh, as a, in a tied fight, unless this goes to the fourth round, it looks like Artyom was able to edge out Nagimbi. We'll let you know as soon as we get the cards. I want to thank all of you for tuning in. A quick shout out to the sponsors, W5 Sportswear, Vorgo Water, Arashotni Dome, Echo Sienaj, and Casino Rebuy Stars. We appreciate all the support. As we wait, again, I'd like to thank the judges. Uh, we had Dennis Sadeko, Atsushi Anari, Patrick Gomez, and Igor Schmidt. Thank you, guys. And a uh, big shout out to the guys who make this all happen, who work behind the scenes, specifically Sergei Chepanoga and Dmitry Ivanov from W5. Let's go to the ring. We have a decision. Let's see who is the world title holder of W5 and 71 kilograms. As you know, it was Alexander Co Cosmo Alexander last year. The new winner. David Kuzmecher and Elements Production, Robert Sefko and President W5, Sergei Chikanova and General, General Director of the Promotion Company, Shoulder to Shoulder, Dmitry Ivanov. Ladies and gentlemen, by a unanimous decision, the world champion, wait, can you agree, Siltaman Kilos, fighter from the blue corner, Artyom There you have it, Artyom Pashporin. Pashporin is the new world champion of the W5. 71 kilogram weight class. Congratulations to him and his team. Nagimi put on a hard fight. Artyom was just a little bit better. I think the fighter, fight could have gone to either fighter. I thought it, was, it could have gone either way until that third round where Artyom outboxed, outperformed, outkicked uh, Nagimbi. But uh, congratulations to everybody. I want to thank you all for tuning in. It was a lot of fun. My name is Dan Repko. I will see you at the next tournament of W5. Until then, W5, choose the way of the champion.